In this video, we will discuss about tablet tooling, that is, punches and dies in tablet compression. First, we will discuss about definition, then tooling standard, types of tooling, material of construction of tooling, design of tooling, and coating on tooling and its application. Now, there are different definition regarding tooling. First, what is meant by tooling? Tooling is a set of one upper punch, one lower punch and one die. That is tooling. This is a upper punch, this is lower punch and one die. The set of upper punch, lower punch and die that is called tooling. Now what is meant by punch set? Punch set is a group of subset or group of tooling that is called punch set. Head. This is a head of punch which guide through the calm track of compression machine during rotation. Then head flat. This is a head flat of punch. It is also called dual flat. The flat area of the head flat receives the compression force from rollers. Outside head angle. This is a outside head angle of upper punch and lower punch. The area get in touch with the roller prior to the head flat while compression. Then inside head angle. This is a inside head angle of punch. This is area which pull down the lower punches after ejection and lift the upper punches. Then neck of punch. This portion is called neck of punch. The relieved area between head and barrel which provide clearance for calms. Then barrel of punch. This is a barrel of upper punch and barrel of lower punch. This area guides punches while going, going up and down with reference to the turret guides. Then stem. This portion is called stem. The area of punch opposite to the head beginning at the tip and extending to the point where the full diameter of the barrel begins. Then tip. This is a tip of punch. This determines the size, shape and profile of the tablet. Then tip face. This is a tip face. This area of punch is where the tablet is formed. Then working length. The distance between bottom of the cap and the head of the flat is called working length and which determine the weight and thickness of tablet. Now this is a working length of punch. Then overall length. The distance between top of the cup and head flat. This is overall length. The overall length is always greater than working length. Then key angle. This is a key angle. The relationship of punch key to the tablet shape. The key position is influenced by the tablet shape, takeoff angle and turret rotation. Now there are some definition about dies. First die outer diameter. This is a outer diameter of the die. The outside diameter of the die which is compatible with the die pocket in a tablet press. Then die height. This is a height depth or overall length of the die. The overall height of the die that is called die height. Then die bore. This is a die bore that is inner diameter of the die. The cavity where the tablet is made 
the cavity shape and size determine the same form of tablet then chamfer the entry angle of the die bore this is a entry angle of die bore that is called chamfer then die groove this is a die groove of the die the groove around the periphery of the die which allows the die to be fixed in a press that is about some definition of a tablet tooling then there are uh, two types of tooling standard first is a uh, american standard that is called tsm standard that is tablet specification manual and second standard is a european standard also called as euro standard the difference between euro standard and tsm standard are the overall punch length of euro standard is a 133.60 mm and uh, punch overall length of tsm standard is a 133.35 mm the head thickness is a 9.09 mm of a euro standard and in tsm standard the head thickness is a 10.31 mm the inside head angle in euro standard is a 30 degree while in tsm standard 37 degree for b tooling and 30 degree for d tooling the punch head configuration for euro standard is a dome shape head while in case of tsm standard the punch head configuration is a angled head that is the main difference between euro standard and tsm standard now types of tooling there are uh, four types of tooling b tooling d tooling bb tooling and db tooling now according to use b tooling is used for small to medium size tablet compression d tooling is used for compression of large size tech cap tablet bb tooling is used for compression of very small size tablet and db tooling is used for compression of small to medium size tablet as per output capacity the b tooling have a high output capacity d tooling have a medium output capacity bb tooling have moderate output capacity and db tooling have high output capacity according to the pressure exert b tooling exert less pressure while compression d tooling exert more pressure bb tooling exert less pressure while db tooling exert more pressure according to the punch and dies configuration we can differentiate different tooling according to the punch diameter b tooling having punch diameter 19 mm that is 19 mm d tooling having punch diameter 25.35 mm bb tooling having punch diameter 19 mm and db tooling having punch diameter 25.35 mm that means b tooling and bb tooling having same punch diameter that is 19 mm and d tooling and db tooling having same punch diameter that is 25.35 mm then die diameter the die diameter of uh, b tooling is a uh, 30.16 mm for d tooling is a, it is 38.10 mm for uh, bb tooling is a 24 mm and for db tooling is a 30.16 mm that means the die diameter that is die diameter is a uh, same for b tooling and db tooling that is 30.16 mm then next is a punch length the punch length is the same 
for all types of tooling that is 133.60 then maximum tablet size round and capsule shape for b tooling maximum tablet size for a round shape tablet it is a 16 mm while in case of uh, capsule shape tablet it is a 19 mm in case of uh, b tooling the maximum tablet size for both uh, round and capsule shape tablet is a 25 mm in case of uh, bb tooling the maximum tablet size for a uh, round shape tablet is a 13 mm and uh, in case of a uh, capsule shape tablet it is 14 mm in case of uh, db tooling the maximum tablet uh, size for a round shape tablet and capsule shape tablet is a uh, 19 mm that is a uh, main difference about b tooling d tooling bb tooling and db tooling now we will discuss about model of construction of punches and dies first we will discuss about material of construction of punches there are two types of material of construction first is a ohns that is oil hardened non shrinkage steel the ohns contain chromium 0.5% and molybdenum molybdenum is absent while in case of s7 that is shock resistant steel s series the molybdenum is a 1.4% and chromium is a 3.25% that is the main difference between ohns and s7 generally s7 is preferred over ohns as ohns have a poor tooling life as compared to the s7 grade steel then the material of construction of dies that is hchc that means high carbon high chromium now coating on tooling there are many types of uh, coating and uh, treatment available that can be applied to the tool steel to enhance the tablet tooling punch die set for tablet press now there are a uh, total uh, six type of uh, coating on tooling first is a chromium nitrate coating then hard chrome plating coating then multi layer chromium nitrate coating titanium nitrate coating diamond like carbon coating and teflon coating now what are the application of uh, this coating on a uh, tooling it improves the wear resistance of punches and dies and it prevent the sticking and it uh, protect against corrosion thank you